everybody, and welcome to the West Regional Public Library. My name is Ms. Kringle, and I'm going to give you guys a tour of our building today. Let's start right here in our atrium. If you look right over here, you can see our book drop. When you're done with your books and you want to return them to the library, all you need to do is place them right here on our conveyor belt. Let's move on. We're going to go right down this hallway to visit our makerspace. Now let me show you guys the makerspace. What do you think a makerspace is? Yeah, exactly. It's a space where you can come in and make all sorts of cool things using the library's expertise and resources. I'm going to let Mr. Chris explain some more about it. So, uh, so yeah, in the makerspace we have a variety of different machines you can come in and learn how to use them. Um, we have sewing machines. Over here we have a Cricut machine. You can learn how to make different designs, put them on objects like this or on clothing. And and over here we have the air pad tablets where you can do different drawings, you can do claymation using the clay. We also have the spark fun circuit builders. You can learn how to make different circuits and use sensors. Over here we have the 3D printer. You can learn how to make 3D models and 3D print them. We also have a smart board. You can use it to do drawings and save them for other projects. Thanks for showing us around, Mr. Chris. So our makerspace is open every Tuesday from 3 to 6 p.m. And any of the machines that you want to use when you're in here, he can show you how to use. Come on, let's keep going. We also have a couple of meeting rooms in this hallway on both sides. So if you ever have a program that's in one of our big rooms, this is where you'll come. And there's something else cool I'd like to show you. Let's go this way. This is our courtyard. You can get to this at any time that the library is open just to hang out in if you want. We also do some programs out here sometimes. right over here. And right over here to your left is where our teens hang out. This is for kids age 12 to 18. We have books, audiobooks, and programs just for teens. Before I show you guys the kids department, let me show you all the adult stuff real fast. We have a copy machine, printers, and a fax machine that you can use here at the library. And these are the computers adults can use to get on the internet. We also have all sorts of DVDs and TV shows for adults too. this colorful wall is where we have all the adult fiction and non-fiction books. But that's not fun for us, so let's just keep moving. We also have all these study rooms where you can book a room for an hour or two and get stuff done in some peace and quiet. And now the part we're all here for, the children's department. This is for everyone 12 and under. If you ever need any help finding anything in the kids department, or anywhere in the library really, you can come right here to our info desk, where our library staff will be happy to answer any questions you have. This is where we have all of our DVDs for kids, and our audiobooks. And then if you keep going right over here, 
is our program board. If you ever want to know what we're doing next at the library, this is where you can look. It shows you what we're doing and exactly when we're doing it. And this is our story time and programming room. Come on, I'll show you inside. Anytime we're doing a program in the children's department, this is the room you're going to be in. Let me show you the rest of the children's department. Let's go this way. Here in the back corner are our picture books, all along these shorter shelves. We also have our Lego table right here where you can just play when you're here. And above our picture books is our Lego display area. So if you come to Lego Club, anything you make will stay on display for a whole month right up here. Once you leave the picture book section, you'll find displays with our seasonal books. And you'll also find chapter books on these taller shelves right over here. The computers just for kids are right over here. We have four normal computers and we have two of the game computers. And then just past those is our nonfiction. In case you don't know, our nonfiction is shelved by subject and then by that Dewey Decimal number. So for example, this Roblox book, the subject is games. And then you would look at the Dewey number to find out exactly where on the shelf you would find the book. If you need to look up where to find a book or reserve a study room, you can use any one of the iPad kiosks we have around the library. And then last, but certainly not least, is our comic books, or our graphic novels, right here at the very edge of the collection. All right, that's it. Let's make our way out. That's the end of our party, guys. Thanks for coming, and I hope you enjoyed this look at our library. See you later.